One, two, one, two, one, two. Are we still live, y'all? Are we still live? Can y'all hear me? Testing one, two. Are we still live? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Okay. Oh, man. It was a... Oh, <laughs> oh man. It just cut right off. It just cut off on us. So... I mean, I'm here by myself now. I just see what's up. First thing I want to say is that um, let's stop playing with this. This is serious business, and we don't want to start calling in and making everybody to be a damn agent. We got to stop that. Let's stop that foolishness because we're playing games with it. Let's keep it real. The brother, Kalimani, 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 he came in and laid down some powerful information. Peace and Black Power, what's your name and where you calling from? Peace, peace. Calling from Brooklyn. What's up, my man? What's your name? Where you, what's your name? Phenom. Huh? Phenom. Phenom. Okay, what's up, Phenom? All right. All right. Cool. So, in regards to what the brother was... Could you hear me? Could you hear me clearly? I hear you loud and clear. Perfect. So, in regards to what the brother was saying, in regards to homosexuality... I wanted to, I wanted to go I expound on it. Okay, I grew up in Brownsville, Brooklyn, right? Yes, Where sir. The majority of families there, they're coming up. It's a single mother in the household. Fast forward in 15, 20 years later, you have posters up where with, with uh, gay children, transgender children. Now, for an impressionable child to see this, that does not have a positive father figure in their life. How could this man not see that as being detrimental to the black community? That's, that's brother, already in a I, weekend I can't state. answer that, only he could. But brother Khalil Umani, if you're still there, click back on, see if you could come back in, brother. See if you could come back in. All right, go ahead, brother. Because, Finish because my, thing, my thing is this, right? I know as a black man, I love my people. I love being black, right? However, the world hates me. And the reason why I feel that we should segregate is because I'm not looking to be accepted. I'm not looking to be accepted by the white world. You understand what I'm saying? So if homosexuals and transgenders people were really okay deep down with who they were inside, there would be no need for them to look for mass acceptance. You understand what I'm saying? Because as a black man, I know every day is a struggle. I'm cool with it because I'm built for that. You understand what I'm saying? And ultimately, my destination is greatness. As a people, our destination is greatness. So we're not here. We create our own. We created our own, right? We're not looking for mass acceptance from anyone because we know who we are. We know where we came from. We know where we're going, right? Hold on, brother. Hold on. Let me get Khalil on the phone. The joint, the joint just hung up, man. It just cut right off, overflow. So listen, you can see if you can click back in and come back in. I'm still here. I went, I came back, but I got a young brother on the line, and he has a question. Why you trying to get back in? Go ahead, brother. We got him on the line. Okay, so my question to you: You had said that uh, criminality is our main problem. Um, I just wanted to say, um, I grew up in Brownsville, Brooklyn, pretty rough area in Brooklyn, even with the gentrification, still, still a little rough around the edges. Now, most of the families there, most of the children there are being raised by single mothers, right? Fast forward in 20 years later, you have a lot of poster boards with pictures of uh, gay children, pictures of transgender children. Now, for a young man, a young boy or a young girl to see this in a broken home, coming up in a broken home without a positive male figure, how do you feel pushing this, pushing this agenda onto our people is not going, how do you not see this as detrimental? Okay, 
So first of all, <clears throat> I've never, I've been in Harlem and other places, even in my own city, I've never seen any posters with transgenders and folks uh, on posters on walls. I don't know what that's about, but so your narrative, I don't even agree with from the giddy up, but uh, right, I but what I'm that, telling you is fact. That, this is not something that's coming from my imagination. This is a fact. Uh, yeah. This is a fact. Yeah, they, this is, these, I, I could, I could Hold on, brother, 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 brother. You got to let him answer. You got to let him answer. All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm simply saying that if, homos if, if by chance I'm wrong about homosexuality, it is the least of black folk problems. Let's talk about that homeless family you're talking about, but there's no father there in the broken homes. That's the reason we're having some issues. Not because one of the child happens to be gay or walk by and see a gay poster. Our problems stem from fathers not being in the homes and from the justice system that has a whole lot of black men in prisons. That's our problem. We need to get back to black family structure. It's not about attacking the gay people because the gays are taking all the men or uh, all that kind of stuff. I think that's just pure bullshit. I think if we get those millions and millions of men out of prison and put them back in the homes with their children, we can begin to turn around the cycle of craziness that we see in the black community, not homosexuality. If I'm wrong about, if I'm wrong about homosexuality, it is the least of our problems. Okay, so so uh, going back on what you just said in regards to the millions of men in prison, let's take this for example. This is a bit of a, this is off on a tangent, but you said there's millions of black men in prison, right? A lot of them in there for for selling for selling weed, right? Now right. the white man is about to cash out on medical marijuana, so that's why it is imperative that we separate because since we've integrated, it has been of no it has been of no help to the black community. Well, I, I would agree that integration is probably the worst trick ever played on black folk. I would agree with you on that, that before integration, we knew who our doctors and lawyers and folks in our own, they live next door to us. I would agree with that, with all of that. But I don't see how the gay question has any bearing on the fact that we are fucked up as a community. I don't. OK, I don't let me ex let me explain that. But let check this out. Hold on. Hold on, young is. brother. Hold on, young brother. How old are you, brother? I'm 29, sir. Okay, I'm sorry to break the I'm, news I'm to you. I'm not that young. I'm sorry to break the news <laughs> to you, brother, but that right there is not a realistic goal when you say let's separate. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad been saying this for damn near since 19, what, 40 something? Since 1950 something? Brother, we are not separating from the white man. We are here. Ain't no separation. What we got to do is get our minds together, get ourselves together, and stop worrying about him. All this whole separate family. Do you think you can go ahead and, and survive without the white man? I'm saying you. Do you think you can survive without him right now? We don't have Myself. no stores. Can, uh, we don't have no businesses. Hold on, brother. We don't have no diapers to go and get diapers for our children. We ain't got none of that. So we, our people are still dependent on this white man to this very day. And when we're talking about separation, that right there is not a realistic goal we too ingrained into him. That's just sounds good when we talk like that. It sounds Could good. Could I say this, sir? Go ahead, say it, brother. Could I say this, sir? Go ahead, brother. Okay, what I wanted to say now. This but is but not real quick, real now. quick, I want to say I do agree with you, but that's not a realistic goal at this time. For sure, right? Within the next ten years, that's not going to happen. Within the next fifty, a hundred years, that could definitely happen. We could definitely see that shift within our lifetime. You understand? Yeah. Right now, we have there's a slew of black owned businesses. My barber's black. Where I go to get my black seed oil, the owner's black. You understand what I'm saying? For the most part, where I go to get my clothes, my deodorant, my toothpaste, it's going into another black family's hand. You, 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 get, you get what I'm saying? So it cannot happen in totality overnight. But if we make that conscious effort, it could happen. Also, what I wanted to say, um, Brother Armani, you missed this because I think um, the line got cut out. But what I wanted to say in regards to homosexuality, myself as a black man, I know that the world would never accept me in totality. But I don't care about that. I'm not looking for mass acceptance because I love my people. I love who I am. If a homosexual and a, trans a transgendered person deep down felt that the lifestyle, the alternative lifestyle, as Kissinger called it, their alternative lifestyle was okay. If they felt like that deep down, there would be no need 
for mass acceptance. So right now, if you're transgendered, if you're homosexual in this society, you're quote unquote winning. So why do you need our mass acceptance if deep down you are okay with the lifestyle that you're living? Is there a question in there about you tell me? Well, first thing is I don't agree with that homosexuals are winning. I don't agree with that at all. I think homosexuals can't. Uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a quote Huey P. Newton who said the homosexual might be the most oppressed in the society. Now, if you don't know what problems that homosexuals deal with as far as trying to live a normal life, then you got to, you probably have to ask some homosexuals. I have even though, speaking of today, even, I mean today, even though, 2018. Yeah, even though even though gays can marry in some 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 uh, states, by and large, they still can't. If a homosexual has a partner and one of them gets deathly sick and they go to the hospital, they can't sign no papers uh, to either let them die or to do whatever. They have to fight for those are basic civil rights that we take for granted as heterosexuals that they that they're fighting for. Bro, but come like on, that. genuine, genuine is being attacked because he didn't want to kiss a tranny. Well, and and you know what? How you, how and you I say they're not winning. And I he and I agree with this another man. And I agree with you. And I agree with you on that. I I I spoke on that and I said. I'm a gay rights activist, but that was some bullshit. Nigga ain't gotta kiss a fucking tranny if he don't want to. And I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not blind. You can't force people to love or, you know, like me. If I know a woman has had a man has had a sex change, and she or he can be as beautiful as he wants to, but I know under those draws, there's either a dick or these are the or, these, or either there's a reconstructed pussy. If I know that. I'm gonna have an issue with that. That's just me. All so, right, all right, I, I all right. Hold on, brother. I'm not calling. We moving. It. We moving forward, brother. I appreciate okay. your call. Last thing, sir. And, Last and, one thank you yeah, for your call. For a while. Yeah, and Last another thing. thing is, let's stop trying to um defend genuine. Genuine let the chump on. Genuine put his head yes, he did. in his chest. That's yes, like say, did. brother, if you sitting down with your lady and she put her head in your chest. <laughs> That right there is telling you, baby, it's on. Let's do something. What's up? So once Genuine did that, he shit the number one. He knew that they was um transvestites. He never should have had his ass sitting there amongst them. He led the chump Absolutely. on. So come on, stop trying to um Absolutely. you know justify that shit for Genuine. His ass probably yeah, kissed absolutely. the nigga. He probably kissed him behind closed scenes and y'all didn't see it. So come on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so come on, man. I agree. Yeah. I agree with you, Sonella. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. When he when he put his hand when he put his head in his chest, that was the lead on. There you go. Because the man. tranny could have pushed his head down and made Jim White give the nigga some head. Could have. Yeah, yeah. If a chick if a chick lay her head in my breast in my chest, I might push her head on down further. Would I look like sitting with trainees and then put my head in his flat and then he said, give me a kiss? Because he did that. Once he put his head there, the trainee had, he opened the door and the dude said, damn, he gave me an option now. Let me ask him for a kiss. What would you do, brother? Hold on, brother, brother. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Sure. You sitting down and you sitting down with Beyonce or Janet Jackson or somebody, right? Or maybe a beautiful sister. And, and you in the park, and she puts her head in your chest. What you gonna do, brother? Oh, I'm gonna pull her in closer. All right, then. Like, That's the same up. thing that the dude did if, to Genuine. If it's, Jen, if it's a female. Right. If it's an actual female. So would you do that to a chump? Would you put your head into a, a transvestite um, head, knowing that he's a transvestite? Never. Never. All right, then. That's the point that I'm making. Let's go. Ask your last question, brother, so I can move on, brother. <laughs> All right. So basically what I wanted to say, I'm not here calling and saying fire for them or anything like that. I, I believe in respect for all people. However, I feel that this is an agenda that's being pushed heavily on the community. Brother Armani, you are right. This is not the I don't feel this is the least of our problems, but it's one of it's one of our it's one of our uh, many problems. And um, going back to what I said, going back to what I was saying in regards to uh, the mass acceptance, I don't, you didn't really, uh, you didn't really answer that question. Why is it that they're looking for a mass acceptance if deep down they're okay? Where really and truly, the reason why I say gay people are winning, right? 
a lot of these, um, let's take Gap, Gap Clothing, for example. This is a gay-owned brand, so they make their own clothing. You know what I mean? A lot of these interior designers are gay. A lot of people who are high up on the societal um, totem pole hierarchy, they're homosexuals. So in mm-hmm. a sense, they are winning where if they feel like, you know what, I'm not messing with this society anymore, I don't want to be a part of this, they can easily separate or create like a subculture, which in many in many regards they've already had. So it's like, my thing is if deep down you are okay, and you have to keep in mind, there's several mental disorders like homosexual OCD, right? Where there's people out there who feel- All right, brother, I got to get to the next calls. They, they call it, man. I got to get to them. I'm sorry, man. No, 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 I know, I know. This is, I'm sorry. Hey, but I want to let you know, <laughs> I, young brother, I do agree with a lot of the stuff you were saying. I don't want to um, brush you off like you was wrong. I do agree with it. I was just saying- I don't see it in my life or my baby's eyes for us, um, you know, distancing ourselves. I do agree with you on that. I'm with you 100%. I just don't see it, our people doing that. We too deeply okay. ingrained in this damn white man society. So I do agree with you. Don't think I don't agree with you. I'm with you. You know? But All that right. doesn't mean we shouldn't stop. Even though we're not, right. we may not see it in our lifetime, we should keep it going. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Take care. All right. All right. Um, yes, yes. Um, do you have anything you want to say, Brother Khalil, while we're still going on? Well, you know. Anything, his, his... anything that you have not told us that we need to know. <laughs> well, are you, are you wrapping up? Are we wrapping up? No, I'm going to still go. It, it depends on you. If okay. you, if you, you know. no, um, no, as far as the call are concerned, you know, uh, I asked the person, who says black folk want to, want to separate? I would argue that the masses of black folk do not want to separate. I would argue I that agree. the masses of black folk, I would argue that the masses of black folk probably have some white people in their family and some little biracial children in their family. I would argue like the Bible, the scripture which says, uh, my heritage is like unto the speckled bird, meaning that they come in different flavors and, 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 and shapes and colors. The point right now, they, we can never separate. We are truly uh, statistics say that in a few years, white folks in America are going to be the minority. Right, right. Uh, All right. Um, and I, let me say this real quick to those IDs that's blocked, the unknown callers. That's not stopping the FBI from getting your number, fool. Stop thinking you're doing, right. stop thinking that you're doing something because you're blocking a number. Man, listen, if you're blocking a number, don't call the phone because you got my number, goddammit. I'm not ducking. I'm not hiding. If you got my number, I want to see who calling me. So I'm not picking up no more numbers that they have. They shit blocked. If you're scared, get under the damn bed and don't call because you got my number. <laughs> if you think that they can't get your number, nigga, stop it, man. Y'all dudes is crazy. So don't call my phone. I'm not picking it up. I'm not picking up no unknown callers. None of that faggot weak shit. If you're scared, don't call in. You got my number. George, my brother George, call back in now. Call in, brother George. Go ahead, Khalil. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, you know, no, they, you're right. I mean, the, the, you got to understand the government is sophisticated. They, they're light years ahead of common folk thinking and stuff. They, they can get unknown. And unknown. That's, they were doing that shit years ago. That's, you know, I, I was able to go ahead. All right, peace and black power to my brother George Macon. What's up, my man? What's going on, bro? Talk to me. Hey, man, listen, man. This brother, I, I'm not going to be disrespectful to the brother, man, but listen, three things. The brother knowingly went to the FBI. He said that he's a civilian. I listen well. He said he's a civilian. He went to the FBI, and he basically told he has no problem with that. The FBI does not let you come and take down organizations and go into that and then just let you go free. I mean, it's a lot of things that the brother's not telling us. I mean, I'm not a fool. I, I, I've been through this shit before. But, well, I'm listening. Brother, can I say something? Go ahead. Okay, so first thing, we don't have to talk about disrespect. That way. I don't know what that's about. But secondly, you are kind of correct. You're right. I just said that earlier that I'm still on somewhat of a leash. I, I admit that. I'm I'm here to shed light on for your edification so you can understand. I I'm the 
I'm the one that's telling you, yes, I couldn't get, go get licenses and uh, passports and stuff. I got to go back and see them people. I've said that. I'm not here. Here's, I'm not here telling you that I'm free and no, clear. I, 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 I understand what you're saying, but that's not my point. I already know that part. What I'm saying to you is, you walked in the door uh, offering your services and to go and take, go to go and take down an organization, not just some petty uh, uh, peddlers on the street. You went in to take down an organization. The, the way them alphabet boys work, when you go and do some work like that, and, and just like you said, your work show for itself. They're they're coming at you to do other things. Now all of a sudden, you come over to here to the concert community to talk to us. And I, I mean, you know, a lot of people is naive because a lot of the people that send us are good book readers and they're not from the street. So they don't have a lot of street smarts. But you come in and you talking a good talk. You, you understand what I'm saying? But we are, like you said, the FBI is already watching you. So now you come onto this platform and the FBI is, is watching the platform. Like, nobody, right. like, what are you here for? I believe they've been yeah. watching the platform, though. No, I already got that for a side, That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, good, saying, good, good saying, point. You're making some good points, George. Some good shit. What, 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 I'm, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, the FBI, we, we, are, we already know what I'm saying. We already know the conditions of our community. We know our community is, is fucked up. But you don't have no problem going to the white man to put the white man on our people when we're trying to get our people together. Like you already admitted that. So I don't know what you may do. And then and I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you may do when, put, when your back is pushed against the wall. Because you, are, you, already, you already came on. So my question is, why are you here? I mean, go to the church. And deal, and deal with them people. Like, we, we are against homosexuality. Everything that you stand for, we, we are against. So I don't understand well, why you bring you and the police this way. Okay. You ready? You done? I'm, I'm quiet. I'm listening. Okay. Well, the reality of it is Christians in the church, they're docile. Unless they are a caustic kind of church like them folks down in Waco. Uh, please, uh, everything fucking with them. Now, if you, like I said... If it's, a, if, if it's such simplicity to you that I just went and brought down a cult because of whatever, then yeah, I, I can't talk to people who don't have an understanding of what my actions were for. And I apologize for my actions. What am I doing here? Isn't it a beautiful thing that somebody like me that come out the woodwork and actually talk about these things instead of everybody walking around uh, uh, postulating about what an Asian is and who's Asian and who's not? Isn't this a beautiful discussion that they, somebody can come out in this day and time, not look at an old video from 35, 40 years ago, that somebody in this day and age can stand up and say, yes, this is what I did, this is how it works, blah, blah, blah. I'm not asking nobody to accept me in the conscious community. I'm not asking you to trust me. I accept those things from my black people. I accept that I can never join an organization. But I can also tell you that Things that can help organizations be on the lookout for people like me, who are once an agent. I can help you in that manner. That's what I'm doing here. Bruh. Let me say you this. Hold on, George. George, hold on. Bruh. Hold on. Um, watching Gil Noble when he interviewed a couple of former FBI agents was very powerful show. If you go and look at that, and he definitely gave the brother some props for doing that. And that's why I dedicated this show to Gil Noble. Now, me bringing on Brother Khalil Omani, I want to I wanna say the same thing. I, I say that this brother got my respect for coming on. I sacrificed me to bring him to the people so that the people can have a clearer understanding of a real goddamn FBI agent or informant that we know of now. You see, we use that word too loosely. Oh, he an agent, he an agent. So I sacrificed myself to bring out this brother. He already been out, but to bring him on my platform so that other people can get an understanding. Now, what my brother George is saying, I'm not going that route because I'm the host, but I'm not going to stop brother George. I'm not going to stop the other people from doing what they do to get at him and to build and, and I would have to leave it up to Kamani to get out of that shit on his own. So I'm just the host. So I want to say, George, I agree with my brother George, what he's saying, but y'all got to understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get the message to the people. We have a real one here now that we know of. And go ahead, brother George, the floor is back let on me just, Let me just say this, man. For a lot of people, a lot of people that's in the community, you know, for the thousand people that's watching, that may not understand how this shit operate, that never been in the street, 
let me tell you something, man. When, when a lot of these people get on paper, there's different levels to this shit. When brothers like this get on paper and they go, they they're going into organizations, and then they're going into witness protection programs and stuff like that. Man, these people are always, like he said, always follow. For all I know, he coming on this. They they telling him what to say, how to say it, and when to say it. You cannot trust these people, man. Don't listen. Don't fall for the bull crap. Too many times. Too many times. I mean, like he didn't go to the people within the community. He went to the police. He went to the police. He went in, and he did what he did. And he went to witness protection program. All I'm saying to y'all, though, I'm saying to y'all, when you go into these witness protection programs and you get on paper to a certain level, they coming at him to ask him to do other things. He's not going to come on here and say, well, yeah, well, I went in and then I went in to take these people down. But that's not the way them alpha bad boys work. Like, so you can see the other people that bull crap. I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to disrespect them. But all I'm, all I'm, all I'm saying, to the people that's listening, do not be naive. Do we support a lot of the, a lot of the debauchery that go on in our community? Absolutely not. We absolutely not. We don't we we don't support that. But I but I also I also don't trust these goddamn federal agents that come into our community just because you come in and say, well, I'm telling you what I did. I'm supposed to just rock with you? No, dog. I ain't from, I'm not from that school that a lot of these new guys is from. I'm not going for that bullshit. No, you ain't gonna come tell me that. You want paperwork. You want paperwork? You went into witness protection program, and now you coming into you coming into a place where you know the feds don't like us because we try to wake up our people. So I don't understand why you here. And for all I know, you re, you could be reading the teleprompter, saying whatever it is you're supposed to say. We ain't trusting you, dude. Get out of here with that crap, man. Slow your roll, homie. Slow your whatever, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now I'm getting up under your skin. See, look, look, look. You it's come out. So I know that's coming out. Here it come. I'm, I'm going to have to change my phone now. <laughs> see, 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 because I've been through this shit. I've been through this shit. I've been through the snitches. I've been through All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, George. Can when you, respond? when you, yeah, real quick. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Um, come on, I'm going to let you respond. George, when you say you've been through this, clear it up for the people, because the people in the chat room saying, what the fuck you mean, George, you've been through this? What's going on? Listen, 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 listen. I've been in the streets. I've been in the streets doing my thing. You know, when, when stuff come down and, and people names on people, we're going to trial. That's all I'm going to say. Go I've been through this shit. This is nothing new. I don't have to put all my business out there, but right, like I said, right, right. a lot of people, a lot of people in this, a lot of brothers and sisters in the community are not street people. They're intelligent people reading books. They went out there shooting guns and selling drugs and doing all that kind of stuff. I, I, I come through, I come through, I come off the streets, man. I change my life. I try to change my life to do the right thing. So I don't fall for bullshit. I understand, I listen well. I understand, I understand how people can come and cut in, connive and talk their way into anything. You ain't so, so now you ain't the one we found out to a snitch and you just walk in the door and say, Hey, I'm a snitch. Set me. Get the hell out of here, nigga. I'm not, no, not me. You could do that with other dudes. Dude. I'm not, I, I, I'm not going for that. I'm not I, going for, let, I don't understand, hear. like, why, why are you here? I'm why not, you I'm not asking you to do for let's, let's, hear him. let's hear him, George. Let's hear him. Let's hear him. But then again, George, you asking him a question, like, why are you here? You already know that, George. Come on, man. Man, but yeah, go ahead, so they sent this nigga, they sent this nigga here, Sarnetta. Hold on, hold on, line, hold on, hold on, George. Let, let the brother the go. Line. Let him go. The bottom line is you're correct. You shouldn't trust shit I say. I could be reading the teleprompter. You're right. Now, next caller. Well, of course, yeah, because I didn't got up money. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go, Sarnetta. You got nothing. You got nothing. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to say this and I'm going to go, Sarnetta. Listen to it and I'm, I'm going to say it to you. The different, what's going on today, right? When you think of when you think of old school New York, how New York used to be, and where you come from, on the street for thirty years, putting in this work, being with Kanye, you got a lot of brothers that you are waking up that was from that that was from the street that was that was in the street like me that's waking up. They starting they gonna start sending these moms and all these people to come in now. Don't get this fucked up. Don't get it. Right. So now he walking in, he knocking on the door. He ain't sneaking through the back door. This dude is knocking on the door telling you who he is. But what I'm yeah. saying is the difference between you and these other platforms is the work that you've been putting in. And you're getting the results. That's why you're getting the agents in. And he, he don't have no problem because they take us for such a joke that they don't even have to walk through the door and, and, just, and, 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 and sneak through the door. They just walk in and we let them in. We just let them in. I'm not, I'm not going for it. Your platform 
was different from other platforms. You was in the Black Panther Party. You was doing certain things, and now you got real dudes across the country that's now coming in. The fans have a problem with that because they don't want people like me waking up. They want us back in the street doing the fuck shit. I ain't messing with this dude. Get this nigga out of here, man. I'm out, man. All right, wow. um, there we go. Now let me ask you. Let me ask you a question, um, Khalil. Khalid Muhammad, yes. where was you at when Dr. Khalid Muhammad was here? Was you in the um, the FBI at that time? And if so, what type of yeah. information they was trying to put out on Dr. Khalid Muhammad? No, I was long gone from the situation. Khalid came to prominence. I need you to keep talking. I got to make a uh, a bathroom run real quick. Keep talking. Okay, all right. I'll just talk to you, audience. Uh, I didn't come over here on some of this platform for people to believe me, to accept me, to get into the conscious community. I don't know where all that's coming from. I came over here simply as someone who was in the witness protection program for bringing down a nasty, murderous, and pedophilic cult 35 years ago. I came over here to explain to you all what the circumstances were and what I did about it. I want to shed light on how the government operates when it comes to government operatives, simply as that. Whoever George is, there's no need to get upset or get emotional. I'm not asking you to, to believe what I say or to, uh, to all of a sudden accept me in the fold. I, I know that I'm tainted. Let I me, know that I'll never get Let me to, say this real quick. <laughs> let me say this real quick. And George is my brother. I love my brother George. Sometimes, um, man, my people, y'all make me feel insulted. Y'all make me feel insulted, man. I didn't get to be 55 years old being a damn fool and being stupid. It's like I feel that I'm the only chess player around. It's like I'm the only chess player around. You got to understand the move that I make. George is 100% correct, but sometimes we got to hold that in and let me make the moves that I make. Call me on the phone. Yo, Sado, I'm not a fool, brothers and sisters. Y'all, ins- well, I mean, my, I feel, hold on, I feel insulted sometimes, you know, c- because it's like my people think I'm so damn stupid. And, you know, you got to be able to play chess on the board. We have a real FBI agent that's here. Put your emotions to the side. Let's get as much as information that we can why he's here. Sarnetta don't sleep on nobody, y'all. This is what I'm trying to tell you. When you look at Gil Noble's show, perfect show. Look at what Gil... Saw. be careful. Saw been careful since he was with Khalid. See, there you go again. Y'all, and y'all looking at me, it's like I'm a little fucking kid. Saw, be careful. Saw, watch your back. Saw, don't do... Y'all gotta stop it, man. God damn, y'all got to stop it. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, hold on for a minute, Khalil. Let me get this shit out. Because my people okay. got to understand. I didn't get to be 55 being a damn fool. I done seen niggas' brains blown out. Niggas going to jail. Police putting drugs on people. FBI coming in. The- I'm not stupid. I seen this with my own eyes. I'm from New York, Harlem. The days when motherfuckers was selling dope, like, I mean, I'm talking about millions of dollars was being passed through the hands of people. I've seen all of this. I didn't wake up yesterday. I've been with one of the strongest black men in the world. You don't think I know the FBI was following Khalid? You don't think we know all of these things? So now we have an opportunity to question one right here, to get the answers that we want, and people get crazy. We can't get emotional at times like this. Play your cards right, get what we can get out of them, and then that's it. Sarnetta's not no stupid ass little kid, man. And I'm not talking to my brother George. I'm talking to my people out there. That's what I'm saying. Come on, man. Dr. Khaled taught me well. Gil Noble taught me well. I was with Gil Noble before he passed away. I can show you the picture. It's right behind me. Hey, yo, yo. Get, yo, Montel. Come here for a minute, man. Let me just show y'all something, man. Damn. Look back there and see if you see that picture back there. Cut that light on, man. Get that picture. Look back here. Look over there somewhere. Over there. Yeah, look back there. 
See if you see some pictures back there. On, it's laminated and all that. Uh-oh. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what we got there. So what I'm trying to tell my brothers, Uh-oh. if I got it. There we go. This is one of them. You see this? Exhibit A. Gil Noble on 125th Street with who? Who he with? And I got on my militant gear. That's right in front of the Mart 125. I don't think I, I'm not stupid, y'all. Because he's on my show, don't mean Sarnetta. Oh, Sarnetta, he's a great. No, I'm not. No, I'm with the brother so that he can begin to give us some intel. We need intel. We need information. That's all. So let's not bring him on here and beat him up. Let's make a chess move. Ask him some serious shit. Make him give it up while we got him. Ask him some real shit that I didn't ask him. That's what I'm saying, family. That's when we begin to move pieces. Like, yo, what are some of the tactics they use when they're going up against us? What are some of the things and some of the points that they do? You know, that's what we need to get out of them. And then once we get him on here, then we beat his ass up. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just joking, Khalil. But anyway, go ahead, Khalil. I can take it. I'm built for this. But anyway, yeah, I don't really have to say about that. I mean, the guy is like, you know, you know, uh, you're right. I mean, it's almost. I'm not talking to George Macon. I'm talking to the people. That's what I'm well, talking about. I'm, so you talking about just he's talking about. I don't mean to be disrespectful, nigga. Just say what you got to say, as he say, speak your speech, nigga. But if you want to have some real conversation, let's have it. I'm not here for people to for you to believe me. I'm 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 trying to give you something that. You, as an organization, can say, okay, remember what he said about that? But it's not for you to believe me. You don't have to. Like he said, I could be reading up a teleprompter. But see, George is a street dude. And I could see that okay. in him. And I could see that in him. And I could see that he went through some real shit. So, you know, shit like this gets to him. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said I understand what he's talking about. But at the same time, I'm trying to do some shit here. You know? I, know you I dedicate this shit to Gil Noble. <laughs> Let me get a caller in here. Peace and Black Power family. What's your name and where you calling from? Uh, this is Red uh, Coleman calling from California. Yeah, what's happening, man? Uh, the question I want to ask the brother is, do he think that the FBI is behind pushing a gay agenda for young black men and women? All right. You hear that, brother Khalil? For um, uh, some reason, I'm, I'm blocked. Hold on. Say that again. Call. Say that again. He didn't hear you. Say it again. For some reason, I'm blocked from the chat. I don't know how I got blocked. All right. Zadok Coleman. What's your name? What's your name in the chat? It's Zadok Coleman. Z-A-D-O-K Coleman. Okay. Yo, I, I don't want y'all to be trigger happy in the chat. Let the people say what they want to say. Long as they not being disrespectful and rude. You know, and I wouldn't have been able to say anything. Uh, so I was blocked from the beginning, from the beginning of the episode. Okay, so you're not in there. I can't find your name to unblock you. Okay. All right, but ask your question. Go ahead, brother. The I want to ask the brother though, that question. Ask him again. Ask him again. The question I want to ask is: Do you think that the FBI or the CIA? is behind pushing a gay agenda for young black men and women. No. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, no. I mean, go ahead. No. I, the people who are pushing an agenda for gay rights and all that are gay people and people like me that believe that gays should have the absolute right to marry and live like straight people. Plain and simple. Real quick, real quick. I want everybody, under the sound of my voice, click on George Macon right now because he's bringing out a lot of positive information that's dealing with the now. Click on George Macon. Make sure y'all subscribe because we connected. I might be over there doing the show. I might interview the brother on his own channel or he might interview me on his show and y'all don't want to miss that. So click on George Macon. Make sure you subscribe because that brother goes in. Make no mistake about it. He got a lot of information up there that y'all didn't even see yet. So go ahead. 
Go ahead, finish up, brother. Okay, okay. that was a question. Peace on our side and peace to the family. Thank you very peace. much. Thank you. Peace and Black Power family, what's your name and where you're calling from? Peace, peace. Sign up. Yes. Peace, this is brother, uh, this is brother Sobek from VA. What's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's happening? What's your, what's your question? Uh, I, I, I got, I got a, pretty much like a comment versus a question. Go ahead. Let it go. And, uh, and that is that observing your, I've been watching your platform for a minute, sir. And I'm, I'm a Kimite. You a Kimite. And one of the reasons why, cause I know at one time you was going through a lot of stress because of all the turmoil that was coming from the platform. And the reason why, that is because you don't have any boundaries when it comes to your platform, and even right now with this brother on your on your uh, on your show, you're still letting certain um, forms of consciousness into your platform, causing a lot of confusion and a lot of uh, imbalance. So you don't think so, you don't think that this is important for our people to hear? You don't think that you don't think that this was good? Do you think Gil Noble did the same thing when he allowed them on the platform to talk to give up that but this information? Is the thing. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing, though. So I, like you a Kemite. Like, it's certain principles. Correction, that correction, to, correction. To... I am not a Kemite. I am not a Kemite. Sir, your name is Sir. Your name is Sir Netta. Right. That don't mean that's... that don't mean I'm a Kemite, brother. The Kimites has what? been dead, gone, long time ago. What it Come is, on, I, study, <laughs> I study the Kemetic science. That don't mean I'm a Kimite, brother. I study the, but, the Kemetic science. I'm not okay, a Kimite. You know, all right, okay, if you, don't live, if you don't label yourself a Kimite, you, you still hold the principles. You still live by my art, right? No, I don't. I don't live by but my art, and I, and I don't think you live by my art. We all strive to live towards my art, but I don't live towards to live by my art means to be one hundred percent perfect with no fault. Nah, if you live, it don't it don't mean what is my art? Hold on, sir. Sir, sir, let me say something right quick. To live by my art does not mean you're trying to be perfect. It means you're striving for perfection. That's there you go. And God damn it, I'm far away from perfection. So that's nah, why I'm trying to though, tell you though, sir, I don't live though, by my art, brother. Listen though, sir, you still should try to have certain brands. I'm, I'm like, I love your show. Like, I, I watch your show all the time. Yes, but, sir. Oh, this is my only critique. You know what I'm saying? For this, for the, even for this particular show, I'm, I'm watching it. I'm enjoying it. But just to give you a little gem, like, have boundaries, man. Because when we don't have those boundaries, that's how stuff starts to fall apart. And that's a comedic principle. Even though I, you say I, you're not a I, I, hear you. by the I hear you, brother. I hear what you're saying, brother. But let Sarnetta run his show. Let Sarnetta do what okay, he do. All right, that's okay. why this, when we get into hey, that. That's see. That's what. That's why I be having problems with people. They try to tell me what to do and how to do it. And no, no, not, not saying you. I'm not saying you, brother. Okay. I'm just saying Sarnetta is gonna do what Sarnetta wanna do the way I wanna yeah, do yeah. it. You see? Sarnetta, listen, that's all listen, I'm saying. Let me say this last thing. I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. This go ahead, thing. brother. Go ahead. I see. I seen when you were friends with Sarnetta, and I didn't like to see that, brother. And it's because you were going through a lot of. Your platform was, was, was being under attack by a lot of negativity, bro. And it's because you were opening yourself up to negativity. That's all I'm saying. Have boundaries. That's, I, that's it. I and feel I what you're you saying. Keep supporting you. Thank I'm you, my brother. You. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, no problem, I appreciate brother. you. All right. My brother. Peace. Don Bay. Don Bay got to get out of here because he thinks somebody no, confused. No so let me get Don Bay ass up out of here. So I know is not confused. So I never know what the fuck he's doing. You the one that's confused, Don Bay. You the one that's confused. So I never go and run the shit the way he want. I'm not running my shit the way other people want me to run my platform. That's why you're here watching. Evidently, it's, it must be good. You see? And another thing, I am not a Kemite. Understand that. I am not a Kemite. I follow and believe in the comedic science. That don't mean I'm a Kemite, goddammit. I don't know how to read comedic science. I don't know how to speak the language, all right? To be a Kemite means you should know how to read it. You should know how to write it. You should be eating different. You, come on, man. Y'all dudes take this shit too fucking crazy to me. I have not met a Kemite in my whole damn life. Now, I met people that studied the science. I met people that understands the science, but I have not met a Kemite. What the hell is wrong with y'all? 
Damn, y'all get too spooked out with it. That's like saying, how can you get mad at the Hebrews for telling them that they are Hebrews? No, they not. They, they not Hebrews because they, they following Hebrewism. No, they not. They not. Come on, man. After four or five generations after me, you will no longer be of me. That's what they said. In the Bible, it teaches that. Have you forgotten? It says, after three or four generations after me, you will no longer be of me. But see, y'all don't understand that. Y'all think sound that are stupid. That's what y'all thinking. But no, I'm not a Kimite. I'm not a Kimite. I love the comedic science. I strive towards the comedic science. You confused, sir. All right, get your confused ass out of here, Mac. Mac, your ass got to be confused. Look what you call yourself. Mac is deleted. Mac will no longer be up in here. Get your ass out of here. Peace and black power. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Do you have any question? Do you have any question for Khalil? Yes, sir. I had quite a few questions. I just wanted to know. Make it quick. Make it quick. Okay. Um, inside where he was working at with them uh, alphabet boys or whatever, did he notice any prejudice in there or whatever? Khalil, you there? Khalil, you still there? Okay, we lost Khalil Amani, um, and we lost everybody. Damn. Okay. Let me see something here. Okay, family. Let me get Khalil back on the phone. Let me get the brother... Let me get the brother back on the phone. Peace and Black Power. What's your name? Where you calling from? Peace, my brother. Can you hear me? Loud, loud Peace. and clear. Loud and clear. Right. Hey, right. They call me Smalls, like Biggie. I just had a question. I, I, I believe that you just said that the brother is not online anymore. No, brother he's not Cliff. online. He's not online. The phone dropped again. All right. All right. Well, the question is, in the event that he does come back, the question that I had was, he used to be part of the Hebrew Israelite. Um, does he still hold the uh, um, the laws and the? They say that scribe Hebrews in the diaspora. Uh, um, does he still hold to that? Does he still believe that? I would like to know if you get the brother back online. Well, um, yeah, that'd be that's a good question. Khalil, call right. back in, brother. Call in, Khalil. Khalil, call All right. back in. So, uh, yeah, because, you know, like, what, what they say that um, defines the Hebrew, they go to the Bible and say, well, this is what applies to a, a Hebrew, and this is how they determine that they should subscribe to being a Hebrew Israelite. I would like to know, if he was part of that, does he still today hold that to be true? Okay, um, I have no idea. Yeah, Hopefully so I... that's my question. I, I'm not going to stay on. T- that's just the question I have. I, I greatly appreciate being able to be on. All right, thank you, brother. All appreciate right. It. Peace and black power. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, go ahead. He's here. You can ask him yourself. He's here. Brother okay. Khalil. Yes. Yeah. Hi. So Hi. I was asking the question that, um, for the most part, a lot of Hebrew Israelites go to um, to the Bible to say that uh, um, that the the Bible describes them to be Hebrew Israelites. So I wanted to know: Do you still hold? Do you still hold that uh, um, the laws and the commandments and what have you apply to you? And that would. Uh, as Subscribe to being a Hebrew Israelite. Well, I don't. I don't subscribe to the Hebrew Israelite principle. Do I believe that the Hebrew Israelite history may suggest that Black folk have a lineage to them? I do, but I'm more of a comedic science brother right now. I've graduated them. I don't. I, I hold the Bible as mythology. Uh, I'm more about comedic science. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, my brother. That's a great answer. I appreciate it. Yeah, exactly. um, peace and black power to the family, and I, and I appreciate it. Have a good night. Peace, brother. 
All right, all right. Hey, Khalil, you ready to close out, man? Or you want to keep Whatever. it going? How many more questions? Well, you want? My, uh, a couple more because my wife wants me to go to dinner with her, so we. All right, two more questions, y'all. Peace and Black Power. What's your name? Where you calling from? Uh, Peace and Black Power. My name is Malik, the realest caller from Utah, Texas. What's your name? Where you call? I mean, um, turn that down in the back. You just threw me off. What's your question, brother? Uh, Peace and Black Power. My name is Malik. Yeah, my name is Malik, the realest caller from Utah, Texas. All right. What's your question, brother? And uh, I just wanted to say this. I'm not even really worried about the brother that's talking in the background right now. You know what I'm saying? One Call back in, Khalil. Call back in. Peace and Black Power. What's your name? Where you calling from? Hey, what's up, sir? Mac Lowe. Turn Mac me D3. down. Turn me down in the back. You got to turn it down in the back. Hear me? I hear you loud and clear. What's your question? What's going on, sir? Hey, did that man just say he was from the gay community? No, he ain't say he was from the gay community. He said he was a gay activist. What What that mean? There you, you got him. Ask him. There you go. What What that mean, uh, Khalil? Yeah. The word activist means that you are promoting uh, someone's particular cause. So in my case, I am promoting the cause of gay, lesbian, bi, and transgender people to have basic civil human rights, as you and I have. So if you're not, if you're not, a, if you're not with that cause, why are you promoting it? Well, I guess you could say the same reason that, uh, you know, Goodman, Swanner, and Cheney, those two white boys that helped promote civil rights, or that a gay uh, Bayard Rustin, Rustin helped uh, with the 63 March on Washington. There's always been, or the Grimke sisters helped free the slaves, or John Brown with Harper's Ferry, a white man, and killed other slave masters to help free uh, blacks. If you check your history, there's always been people from without a community. I, I know my history, mm -hmm. but it, what you're saying doesn't really make any sense. It, is, it makes all the sense. It's the same thing with President Obama, who would help usher in legislation to well, have... Well, my, next question, my next question is, why are you why are you here in, in the black community? What, what 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 can you do for the black community, sir? I'm not I'm not in any I'm not anywhere in particular, but I live my life. What are you talking about? I'm not I'm not a part of any organization. I'm simply here. What, to I'm you, what can you do for the black community, man? Who says besides, I have to do anything? Besides Who being an informant. Like, like like how can a youth look up to an informant? Someone who's from their own people. How can what? How can the youth look up to an informant that snitches on their own people? Well, have you heard my story? Uh, I I'll tell you one of your story, brother. I mean, you if, if, you, you, if you snitching, if you snitching you or you're an informant, if you don't want to hear it. Your story, brother. If you don't want to hear it, then why are we talking? Because I, I, I asked you a simple question. I asked you what you're doing well, for the people. Well, if you're going to engage in the conversation, you got to be in the conversation. I'm just asking what you're doing for the people, brother. That's your, all, man. Your mind is... Your mind is... That you supporting the gay community. Your mind is... I don't think that's in our community. You heard gay and you heard snitch. Your mind is already fixed. There's nothing I can do for you. I mean, don't get personal. Don't get tight. Don't get tight, cuz. Oh, I'm, I'm not tight at all. Question, bro. I'm not tight at all. I'm not tight at all. But if you don't know my story, if you don't know my story, then what's the point of we talking? All right. Have you been right. Simple question, sir. If you can't answer it... All right, let's it's move on. Let's move on. Bro. All right, thank you, my brother. I appreciate the call. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey. All right, let's last call him. Peace and Black Power family, what's your name and where you calling from? Peace and Black Power, well, this is King Shot calling from VA. What's right. going on, brother? I pre What's up, bro? I appreciate the show, and this um definitely is an opportunity to gain a lot of knowledge, right? Um, the guy that's talking, um, Mr. Rogier, um, I think he gave us the 
overall view of what is a paid agent and what is a volunteer agent. And we have them both in tandem among us, right? But I want him to go in depth on how many volunteer agents out there. Good I'm question. Talking about the, I'm talking about the niggers that don't even get paid for what the fuck they do, right? And you are the worst of niggers, the volunteer agent, right? Because you deserve a fucking check for the shit that you do, right? And after you go in on that, I want you to expound on this because this is an educational process on what the fuck is an agent, right? Um... There are movements to divide us on different subjects. You agree that it is at work, right? Would you give us the answer on whether or not it's a power move to snatch that control from them? And do you think that Sonata TV has taken that ability from them and now is re redirecting it in the right direction that they don't want to go? You got it? That's a lot of questions there. It's powerful. It's powerful and it's timely. <laughs> okay. Right? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get through this. I can't, this is something I can't read. Really but I'll say this much as far as the paid agent versus the non paid agent. The paid agent is one who actually wants to destroy an organization for whatever purposes. The person who's not paid is generally, is generally, the person who understood, who was a part of an organization who saw things go on criminality and wants to correct it because it's killing the community. That's the difference. The unpaid agent is the one that's more righteous because he's not doing it for money. He's doing it because he knows this guy is a pedophile. This guy is a mass murderer. He's got to be brought down. He's got to be stopped. Now, if you can't understand why a person would go to the authorities to bring down a pedophile and a mass murderer, then that's just a problem that you have a personal problem. Now, the paid agent, that's one who needs to be killed in the street where, he, where they find him because he's not doing it for a righteous cause. He's doing it for a check. And thus, they asked me, was I a paid agent? No, I was not. I was one who saw criminality, knew criminality was going on, and the black community of Miami was getting extorted. They were killing people, beheading, cutting off their ears, and pedophile stuff, and breaking up homes, and kicking black people out of apartments, and bombing black neighborhoods. You got, see, we, we're very emotional, but if you go read the case history behind what was going on circa 1980 to 88 in Miami, you would applaud me. You would say, fuck that. He should have done that. More people should have done it. But we are in our feelings because of the word agent slash snitch, and we're trying to roll it off in one big old ball and just doesn't fit. Now, I invite anyone to go to Miami, go to South Beach, when you're in Miami, to the black folks in Miami about the Yahweh cult, and I guarantee you, you will find damn near everybody will say, yes, we graphic on they were a terrorist and menace to society. And whoever brought them down, kudos for them. Outside of Miami, I'm just a snitch. And I understand that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. We out of here. No more callers we taken. And and uh, Brother Khalil Omani, I want you to close out. Oh, no. Um, yeah, before you close out. Can I say one thing? Yes, go ahead. Can I say one thing? Go ahead. Say it real quick. Yeah, brother. Um, I really appreciate the things you do for the community. Like bringing this brother right here out. Yes. Um, this brother right here shows a lot of heart, and you show a lot of heart. You do a lot for the black community. But I want to put this out here for our brothers. Why don't we, instead of sending our youngsters on these crash dummy missions, if we are in these so-called organizations? We need to start sending them to the FBI. We need to start sending them to the CIA. We need to start sending them to these organizations so we can have some spooks that sat by the door. That's what we need. You know, this brother right here, whatever he did, if he's a snitch, he's a snitch. A snitch is a snitch. But what we need in the black community is for us to stop going to the church and thinking somebody's going to save us and start training our youngsters 
to go out into the streets and go into these schools and learn. Go back and come back and teach us. So whenever we need to do what we need to do, we'll know what we need to do. Youth of Texas got something to say, Sinetta. Northside Youth of Texas ride with you, Sinetta. Malik the Riddles, I'm out. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. All right, family. Um, Yeah, y'all heard it, man. Y'all heard it here. That's it. No more callers. And I want to say, damn, how many times are we going to drop the ball? Whether y'all agree with the FBI agent, former FBI agent or known FBI agent or not, we keep dropping the ball. We got to see the bigger picture. I appreciate it, especially if my people would have came in, you get my back. And then we start asking deeper questions, deeper than the questions I ask, you know, just to get everything out that we could get out. If he lying, hey, I'm quite sure none of us up in here believe that. But if he lying, family, let him lie. But still, we need answers. That's all I'm saying. So I want to thank Khalil Omani for having the courage, for having the heart, for having the audacity to coming up in here facing this tough audience. I take nothing away from my brothers and sisters that called in, that kept the pressure on them. I'm not mad at them at all. They doing what they supposed to do. But at the same time, don't get mad at your brother. I know what I'm doing. Trust and believe. Your brother Sarnetta knows exactly what he's doing. And I am trying my best to walk in the footsteps of our brother, Gil Nobles, brothers and sisters. This was a special, special delivery to our brother Gil Noble. You see what I'm saying? I dedicate this to our brother Gil Noble. Make no mistake about it. Your brother know what he's doing. So without any further ado, I want to end this off. And family, y'all ain't even take us to the $11,000 mark. I don't understand that with this powerful information I got for you. So for that, I'm going to hit you with the long version intro on the way out. Peace and black power. Family.